hello everybody and welcome to another short sharp video to try and see what's going on in the ordinals world today we're going to be taking a little look at track network and the tap protocol the tap protocol was an upgrade to the brc20 that was implemented by benny the dev you can find his work uh, on rarity garden and in their discord i would strongly advise going in their discord it's a great source of information but let's dive in and have a look what this actually is now, what the TAP protocol is, it's an upgrade to the BRC20. Rather than make something new and competing with it, it's making it stronger. I really like this. TAP works entirely without the use of layer 2 chains or other complex me mechanics, but it utilizes tapping, which is a mechanism to verify transactions within the protocol itself. Now, this is really fascinating because it means that everything's handled on chain, all on Bitcoin, which is fantastic in my eyes. And as it says here, they say this themselves. The goal of TAP is not to replace or compete with BRC, but it seeks to embrace it and allow for new features, which everybody wants. And one of the main things they've done is they've made sure that existing tickers, like the 1, 2 and 4 length, they're reserved and they can't be used, the ones that are already on and already existing, which so no one can make an, another Pepe, no one can make another Audi. This is great news. This is why it will, I think, do strongly. Now, one of the main benefits that has come from this is you can basically add more than 1, 2, and four tickers I will show you someone's already made use of this clearly but um, I will show you uh, let's have a look for a ticker like Apple that'll be that'll be gone already I'd imagine and it isn't me before anyone suggests no see here we are Apple so rather than just say someone put in a P P L and people assuming that it's Apple or if you had a meme name or a token name that you wanted for instance for your company name or whatever it may be instead of putting abbreviations into four characters you can now put the full name this is massive in, in my eyes it really is and this obviously it's just one holder so it's probably one person who minted the entire supply and thought oh look i've got apple now you know it's it's fun but because it's so new people can you can mint all sorts it's uh it's really good and like i say i, I think this will be something really really good moving forward and it's good that it strengthens the existing protocol something else that is on this too Besides the new upgrades, where they have obviously you do your deploy token as token deploy, token mint, token transfer. So again, read the literature on the uh, GitHub. But the secondary point that I found really interesting, I want to bring your attention to, is here. Here it is. The token send function. Basically, this is a new function that they've added so that you can do multiple transfers. This is really good because how many times have you done it where you've got a BRC20 and you think, all right, I just want to send it to my friend. Well, it means you need to inscribe it, then you need to send it to them. It's all right, mess around. No more. This could be really good, I think. Here's an example of how you would do it. So in the example here, do the post as a tap. The operation is token send, as I said before. And then it's items. So you would do your ticker. In here, they've got two tickers. It's minus tap and tap. I know they look similar, but they are two different ones. So this is what you do. Your first ticker, minus tap, the amount you're sending to the address desired. You would then do another set of curly braces. Your ticker, tap amount boom and off you go and you can do this all in one transaction like and send multiple tokens this is really good i think it's really interesting it's well worth people's attention and it's uh, been quietly uh, ignored uh, for some reason it might be that it's quite new it was only two weeks ago that this was added but i think it, it, it's well worth looking at so i will add uh, the track networks website so you can check more about them and what they do uh, i will give you the protocol specs so you can check it on github and also I'll give you a link to uh, Rarity Gardens Twitter as well so you can check them out because as I say um, it's well worth looking in their actual discord because it's a, a wealth of information I mean <clears throat> one thing it doesn't say on here that, that you can do is you can add um, a logo there is a function to add logo too it, I searched from here it doesn't say it actually but um, or if it has I've missed it so if I have sorry but you can also add a logo to your image so um, part of the function that you put inside your curly braces is you could put image logo and then you could point to an inscription that already exists. So you would point to an inscription ID, and then that would be your your token's image. Now, obviously, this comes with a downside too. Um, you know, people could use it in a negative way. Like, um, for example, basically, while I was researching this video, obviously, I looked into how you would do a post, how you would do the. One of the things people were doing is recursive uh, inscriptions with the JSON, which was really cool. But basically they were doing recursive punks because punks was kind of like the meta. Everyone's done punks in some recursive fashion. So I was looking at how they were doing them. It's kind of cool. You see one here, look. Punk 69. Really cool. And this is all done on uh, basically a BRC on a post on a JSON. Really cool. Really cool. But you can only see the image on 
um, basically this tap explorer for now. A bit like how the punks were before and they did them in recursive. Here you can see, see, inscription 22 million. It's just a JSON post. But when you see it in track explorer, same inscription. There you go. So you can see the image. Kind of cool, right? But while they were doing this, obviously you can point to any image. So and this same address, this isn't my address. You're more than welcome to look at it. It's not me. Uh, they have done a frog. So look, they've done a Bitcoin frog already. But again, same thing. When you go on to the uh, inscription, I actually think I've got it here. Yeah, I've got it right here. See, it's uh, inscription 22 million. So it's quite a while ago as well. But it was uh, a frog. Someone did frog one. And when you see it in track, it points to the image of a frog, which is quite cool. But I mean, obviously, that's not the same as a frog, and everyone knows it's not a frog. So no one's like, you know, no one's doing it in a, in a, in a dodgy way. But it's quite cool the way that you can use this to point to an image. You can point to any image you want. Uh, the way you would do it, I will show you. I'll show you just here. Here we go. How you would do it is, you would do it as basically a JSON post. So you would do your curly braces, do your post as a tap operation, deploy token. You would then write tap art. The example here is basically you would write for this one you'd put punk, then you would put 0069, and then you would put the inscription number that that punk is inscribed upon. So it's original inscription number. Okay? Max one, limit one, and that's what you would do. Just that one as one inscription. And then once that's been confirmed on the block, you do the exact same thing again as token mint. And then you would obviously put exactly what you put here, and it would mint that image, whatever, whatever image you point to. Now, obviously, you could use this when you deploy the token, and you could use the post logo, and you could use the same kind of JSON post to point to an image that you've previously inscribed, which would then be your token's image, which is really cool. And it's really cool that you can do recursives directly on in, in JSON, all on chain. It's really cool. I'm pretty sure the guy who owns this frog won't be too chuffed, but I mean, it is what it is. You know, people have done it before. They've done flip frogs and stuff like that, and naked frogs, and there's some recursive punks. So it's really cool. So I think you should check these guys out. So I'll leave all the links in the description, and uh, I'll even leave the code examples if you want. So you can have a little play with it. It's all fun. Uh, take care. That's all, folks.